Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today is a special day because we have an unboxing in the middle of the hashtag read what you own challenge. Am I breaking the rules? No, I'm not breaking my rules. Stay tuned. And before we get started, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know, are you participating in this goofy little challenge? I'm telling you what, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it already. I've been getting the emails and the notifications. I've been thinking about how long it's going to take me to read 25 books. The holiday sales, the Christmas sales. I got a lot of regret going on right now, but my wallet is going to be happy. So, um, the reason why we're here is because this is the book of the month. The book of the month comes out every single month. You subscribe. Uh, you get to pick from a number of different genres. A lot of them are newer titles. Um, one over the summer, we got Blake Crouch's upgrade two weeks before the general release uh, to the rest of the population in the United States of America. And that was kind of fun. That was kind of like getting a little VIP treatment. Uh, so, you know, and if you're not interested in the book, you simply pass. You pass and you that credit gets saved. Now, I have five credits saved. Last year, for some reason, Book of the Month was not jiving with me. I'm just getting my scissors. Um, I passed a lot and... You know, if a book doesn't call to me or if it's not a genre that I'm into, I'm going to skip it and not feel bad about it because if you change your mind later, you can go and get it. You could still go and get it as long as it's available, which is why I have so many on my shelves that I have to get to. So we're going to do an unboxing. This is one that I got Friday, Friday night, Saturday, Friday or Saturday. And I kept it in the box so I could do this video with you. Do you know what it is? Do you know what one? gonna be a good one. I have seen this one all over Twitter and I'm kind of, ex I'm always excited. I'm always excited. Oh, I love the cover. I'm always excited to read something new. What I hate is not having all the time in the world to do it. Ooh, it's pretty. It is pretty. Um, this is from Flatiron Books. This is White Horse by Erica T. Worth. This is a novel. I love the cover. Mm -hmm. There's the back. A little smoky. Yep. Dig it. Let's read about it, shall we? It says, heavy metal ripped jeans, Stephen King novels, and the occasional beer at the white horse have defined urban Indian Kari James's life so far. But when her cousin Debbie finds an old family bracelet that once belonged to Kari's mother, it inadvertently calls up both her mother's ghost and a monstrous entity. And Kari's willful ignorance is a, about her past is no longer sustainable. Haunted by visions of her mother and hunted by this mysterious creature, Kari must find out what happened to her mother all those years ago. Her father, permanently disabled from a car crash, can't help her. Her Auntie Squeaker, Auntie Squeaker, seems to know something but isn't e eager to give it all up at once. Debbie wants to help, but her controlling husband keeps getting in the way. Kari's journey towards a truth long denied by both her family and law enforcement forces her to confront her dysfunctional relationships thoughts about a friend she lost in childhood and her desire for the one thing she's always wanted but could never have. Love it. So we've got Erica T. Worth. There's Erica. Erica T. Worth. Her work has appeared in numerous publications including BuzzFeed and the Kenyan Review. She is a Kenyan and Suwani Fellow and a narrative artist for Meow Wolf Denver Installation. 
She is an urban native of Apache, Chickasaw, and Cherokee descent. Book of the month, November 2022. Let me know. Did this catch your eye on release day last week? I think it came out last Tuesday. Let me know in the comment section down below. Is this on your radar now? Do the blurbs that I read get you interested in reading this novel? Let me know. I'd be interested to find out. So this will go on the list. This is a book that I own. I owned it before I started the challenge. Maybe this will be one of my 25. We'll see. Depends what I'm in the mood for. Mood reader problems continue. Okay, so that's where we're at. Okay, everyone. So that is it here from me and from White Horse, Erica T. Worth. Very excited to read this. I love a little heavy metal. I love a little ripped jeans. I kind of dig it. So um, hopefully this will, ooh. Oh, and the chapter headings have um, designs on them. Like a little design. Very nice. I like it. And the print is large. I appreciate that. All right, everyone. That is it here from me. I, I hope you are all doing safe and well. I hope you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. I hope that if you're doing this challenge, you're hanging tough, you're hanging in there and you are just not looking at any of the deals that are circulating through the emails. I know that BookBub email just comes out and makes you want to go, mm, I want to open it and see what they have. Don't do it. Just delete. Just keep deleting until you hit your magic number. That's all. We're all rooting for you. Let me know if you're participating in this goofy challenge. Give me some words of encouragement. I'd appreciate it. All right, everyone. Until next time. Goodbye for now. And it is within the rules of read your own, what? Read your own books challenge. Read your own shelves challenge. Read your, read what you own challenge. The read what you own challenge. <laughs> when her cousin, her, well, blah, 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 ignorant,